French ones are so good. Oh, the bunnies, I love that. This greenhouse is full of some of the best ideas for improving plant yields. Disease and pests are two of the biggest problems facing farmers around the world. By careful selection and cross-breeding, we can grow crops like these sunflowers and winter melons that are more resistant to pests and diseases. Scientists have even been able to breed plants that can flourish in marginal areas where water and nutrients are in short supply. The result of these efforts is higher yields with less impact on the environment. We can make some tequila Oh, wow. That's a big one. That's a big one. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like the ones you see help to increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. We're growing these nutritious sweet potatoes above ground. This method increases yields, produces larger potatoes, and can be used where rich soil is in short supply. We're growing lettuce using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Here's something you don't see every day. Tomatoes growing on trees. These plants were originally developed by Chinese scientists. Tomato trees live longer and produce many more tomatoes. One of ours lived 16 months and produced over 32,000 fruits. Much of the produce you see growing in our greenhouses is served in the restaurants here at the land. Oh, look, they use the produce in the restaurants. That's sustainable. Did you hear that, guys? No. You missed that educational day. They use the produce from in here in their restaurants. So they can put it sustainable. Oh. Yeah. What are we going to do with all this stuff? The future of agriculture includes some high-flying ideas like the ones you see here. The aquaponics system on your left integrates hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a source of natural fertilizer for the plants and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less resources. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants.